Alright, what's up guys? I'm currently rank 4 in North America with 1329 LP and I'm basically gonna let you guys know like my strategy for climbing during this patch. I think this patch is one of the least skill expressive and easiest patches to play right now. So I'm gonna tell you, let you guys know my strategy. So basically I kind of, I decide my comp like very, very early. Most of my games I decide my comp very, very early at stage 2. So I know what items to go for and what, what units to hold. But basically, uh, he, here's like the rundown. If I ever get a Brawler chosen, I'm just gonna play Shift Carry because Shift Carry is just like too strong right now. So that's, if you get a Vi, Maokai, or Tom Kench Brawler chosen, I would just go for Shivana. And I'll go over how to play this comp later. If I get uh, any Elder, any Mage, any Cultist chosen, I will go Elder with Aesol. So that means it's like a TF chosen, you know, Lulu chosen. Um, Elise Cultist Chosen, Vladimir Cultist Chosen, El Elderwood Maokai, stuff like that. I will I will try to play Elderwood Aesol. If I have any Warlord Chosen, I will go. I will play Katarina Carry. It could be Garen, Garen Chosen, it could be Vi Chosen, it could be Jarvan Chosen. Also, if I have like very, very ambiguous items, I will go Katarina Carry. What I mean by this is Katarina's best in slot items are Gunblade, Titans, and QSS. And those three items use one of each um, co item component, which is sword, rod, bow, chain, um, glove, and cloak. If I get like really three random items that I can't even slam, like let's say I get like a, like if you get like a sword, glove, and bow start, like obviously Last Whisper is like whatever if you slam it, Giant Slayer sucks early game, and then uh, Infinity Edge also sucks early game. So if I get like this, oh, this opener, I will try to just, just force Katarina if I can. And then if I ever get um, uh, Nasus, Wukong, Nidalee, Diana, or Yasuo chosen, I will play the reroll version of that comp. Last is if I have a really, really strong early game, or if I high roll my early mid game, I will try to fast eight and play KO slash Slayers. 90% of the time I'm playing KO because KO's cheaper to get. You know, Slayers are only good, I think, if you hit, can hit Samira. So I'm going to go over pretty quickly of like my strategy to playing these comps. Uh, first, let's talk about Shivana carry. I go this when I get a brawler chosen. So it's either let's say I have Maokai brawler, right? Early game, I'm looking, I'm looking for Tom Kench and I'm looking for Vi. When I have four brawlers, now this is gonna be your front line. You just need backline damage, right? So it could be assassins like Diana or Akali. You know, it could be a Kindred. It could be sharpshooters with Timo, Nidalee. So your level, level your your level three, level four, level five is going to be a mixture of brawler plus whatever backline damage you can get. So at level six. You'll, you'll usually level up to level 6 at 3-2. If you do not have 4 Brawlers at level 6, I would always roll down until I get 4 Brawlers. So let's say you don't have Vi and you have Maokai and Tom Kench. I would always roll down until I hit at least 1 Vi. Then I'll have 4 Brawlers. When you're rolling down for Vi, you might... like It's it's also very, very uh, likely that you're going to be hitting a Nunu or, an, or a Shivana. If you do end up hitting a Nunu Shivana, you could end up playing 6 Brawlers. And by then, you probably already get top 4. Because this... this, this board is illegal it's so strong mid game but let's say you do not hit the nunu but you do hit the shivana you know you can play five brawlers it's totally fine just play whatever in the back so that's level six once you read level, once you reach level seven which is usually stage four one you want to roll down all the way to zero gold if you have to for shivana two star two star two star your whole board with shivana two star you want to be playing six brawlers with nunu and you also want to be playing two dragon soul units um, the best ones are Bran and Tristana probably because they are the weakest ones and they will probably die if they get procced first. So your strategy is going to have Shivana getting attacked first so she gets the Dragon Soul buff and then um, you'll just kill everything. Positioning it doesn't really matter. You usually want to put Shivana not on the edges because the edges are usually the ones that get hit first. And then um, you want to dodge assassins with these Dragon Souls because you don't want them to proc Dragon Soul first. But it doesn't really matter because... If assassins get on the dragon souls, they're probably gonna die right away and give it to Shivana. Item you need is the only item you need is Runons on Shivana. Other good items are RC, Hodge, Deathblade, QSS is good, D Claw is good, defensive items are good. But the only real item you need, I think, is Runons. So this is your level seven. And at level eight, you're just looking for Set and Chogath. You're gonna be playing eight brawlers with Set. You drop the dragon souls and you play in Elderwood. The best other way you can play is Orn, so you can start farming Orn items. But if you don't have Orn, you can play Rakan. Um, so let's say you are at level eight and you don't hit Set. What you can play is you can probably play. You can drop Set, play Aurelian Soul as one of your Dragon Souls, and you play Brand as your other Dragon Soul, and then you round out the comp with Vagar. So you get three Mage, three three Elderwood, three Dragon Soul, which is also extremely strong. But once you hit Set and Cho'Gath, you want to rotate out the two Dragon Souls and play eight Brawlers. Once once you have once you do have eight Brawlers, you have two options. You can either push level nine and put in another good unit, or you can stay level eight and roll for Shivana three. Usually, ninety percent of the time, you are staying at level eight to roll for Shivana three. Unless you're being contested, then you can push levels. Um, the next comp is the Elderwood Aesol comp. 
I'm not going to go too in depth with the Elderwood ASO comp because I've talked about this comp literally a million times. You can check out my other videos for the comp guides. You're playing strongest board until level seven. And then at level seven, you're rolling down all the way to zero gold if you have to for six Elderwood and three mages, something like this. The reason why like I commit to Elderwood ASO if I get an elder is obvious, but if I get a mage, cult or cultist chosen, cause if I do, if I do get a mage chosen, I'm probably going to look for Lulu and Vagar anyway. So it's a clean transition into Elderwood. Same as cultist chosen. If I get a cultist chosen, I want, I'm probably going to be playing TF and um, Elise. So I'll be playing a mixture of mage and keepers, which means it's a easier transition into Elderwood ASO. And as always, it's uh, AP items on ASO and Hodge or AD items on Zaya, Sunfire, Rakan, etc. Next up is Katarina carry. So if I ever get any Warlord chosen, I will just go Katarina carry. Uh, let's say you get Warlord Garen. You're probably you're probably playing Nidalee plus Tristana for sharpshooters. You'll be playing one of the Vanguards and you'll be playing you'll be rounding out the Warlord with you'll be playing you know Jarvan. You'll be playing Vi stuff like that. But basically, you play your strongest board until level seven. Once you reach level seven, you are rolling down all the way to zero gold if you have to for Katarina two with six Warlords. You can drop the sharpshooters. You can you can keep the uh, vanguards, but you also want to be playing Pike for assassin to buff the the, the Katarina. This is your like a example level seven board. Braum is droppable, so you can replace Braum with a better vanguard. You can also play a keeper with Jarvan, or you can play a brawler with Vi, or you can play a sharpshooter with Nidalee. Whatever is the best unit that you have. And then this is basically your level seven, and then the items you want in Katarina is gonna be Gunblade, QSS, and Titans. This is best in slot for Katarina. Hodge is also good. Jeweled Gauntlet works. And IE Infinity Edge also works. Ionic Spark can also be an item. But generally, you do want to be going for a perfect item cat. And it shouldn't be too hard to get because it comes it, it requires one of, of each component, these six components. No duplicates. So you should be able to hit. So once you're at level seven, you have two options. You can either push eight and um, put in an, another unit, or you can stay at level seven and roll for Jarvan 3 and Vi 3 and Katarina 3. Jarvan 3 and Vi 3 are extremely strong right now. It's definitely worth to roll for it if you have a lot of the units. If Warlord is being contested, I would just always try to push 8 and play for Samira. So one, if you if you do reach level 8, you want to try to get Samira in. And then you want to get Trinomir in for one of the, the Warlords. And then you'll have 3 Slayer, 2 Sharpshooter with Italy and Samira. And then Samira can be your secondary carry. You're just rounding out your board here. You can play, you know, you can play Sedrani, you can play Azir for Keeper and stuff like that. And then you can stay level 8 to roll for Katarina 3, or you can just push level 9 and play even play more units. And that's basically the uh, Warlord Katarina carry. The reroll comps, if you do get a Nasus uh, chosen, you can go for Siphoner, uh, you can go for uh, Nasus reroll. Nasus reroll, I've already talked about this many times um, in my previous comps videos, but basically you want to be going for, you know, a Divine and Siphoner board. You want to roll for Nasus 3 star, and then you want to be playing units like Jax, Janna, Aurelia, Morgana, Aurelia, stuff like that. You can be playing. You can play Callista as your mid game carry for duelists, and then you play Vladimir, you know, for Siphoner and Swain and stuff like that. But basically, the Nasus reroll end game board is gonna look very very similar to a Talon board or a Kale board. It's a mixture of Divine, Enlightened, and uh, Siphoners and duelists. Uh, items on Nasus, Titans, and Jeweled Gauntlet are probably best in slot. And then the third item can either be Infinity Edge, it could be another Titans, it could be uh, a defensive item like D-Claw, you know, it could be Warmogs, Bramble, stuff like that. Wukong Carry is going to be very, very similar to Nasus Reroll, but instead you're going to be playing Wukong. And um, depending on what chosen, what type of Wukong you get, you'll be playing that kind of board. So if you do get a Divine Wukong, you want to be going for 6 or 8 Divine. But if you do end up getting the Vanguard chosen, you can go for, um, you know, 4, 6 or 8 Vanguards. But basically, it's a mixture of Vanguard and Divine units. Items for Wukong, Gwinsu's is good, Death RFC is good, Deathblade is good, so is Runons. Basically, you want to treat Wukong like a Warwick from last set. You generally don't want to stack Wukong with tank items, because um, it's going to fall off very, very hard. I think this is definitely best in slot, you know, Deathblade, Gwinsu's, and RFC. The Gwinsu's is good, because with Wukong's kit, he can perma-stun someone if he stacks enough Gwinsu stacks. Uh, Nidalee reroll. Nidalee reroll is one of the strongest comps right now. Nidalee's for sure gonna get nerfed, but right now you can just abuse Nidalee. I would go this comp if you ever get a chosen Nidalee, but the only items you need for Nidalee is Shoujin and one AP item, which is usually Jeweled Gauntlet. This is your core, but mainly you just need Shoujin. And you're just gonna round out your board with Warlord and Sharpshooters. It's pretty easy. So 
if you end up getting the sharpshooter chosen, you can get in four sharpshooters with Teemo and Tristana, and your front line will be Garen plus Vi, and then plus like a Vanguard. So you can play Braum, something like this. So you get four sharpshooter, you know, three Warlord, two Vanguard. And then late game, you do want to try to get the six Warlords in. So then you you can take out Braum, and then you can play, you know, Trinamir, you can play Jarvan, you can play Katarina for six Warlord, four sharpshooters. And then, you know, if you get the Samira, you can take out Tristana for Samira. And then you can play, you know, Pike to round out your board. Something like this. If you end up getting the Warlord chosen, you can drop a Warlord, but you, you, and you add a another, another Sharpshooter for four Sharpshooter. But basically, you're playing six, six Warlord, four Sharpshooter, and then Samira carry late game. Diana chosen, you know, this is the same like Diana Spirit Guide. You, you probably you should know how to play this comp by now. It is a little bit weaker from the spirit nerfs, but you basically want to be playing spirit, a mixture of spirits and assassins. So it's going to be, you know, Yumi, Kindred, and Teemo. Let's say you do get the assassin chosen, and you're going to be playing six assassins with Pike, Katarina, Akali, you know, Talon. Items for Diana is pretty flexible. You know, Runons is good. I think best in slot is probably Runons, Titans, and IE. But then honestly, a lot of items work. You can have Gunblade on Diana. Hodge, Jeweled Gauntlet works as well. I've also seen a Korean player. He had Gwinsu's RFC and Static Shiv. And it was also very, very good. So something like this. I, I still think this comp is strong and you can easily top forward with it. But it's probably very, very hard to win with it now with the Spirit nerfs. The last comp is Yasuo Chosen. It's it's just a duelist comp. You should know how to play this as well. It's the same comp as last set. But, um, you know, mid early game, you're playing yeah, Fiora. You're looking for Fiora and Jax for four duelists. If you end up getting the Kalista, you know, you can play... Kalista's a very, very good mid game carry. You're looking for Janus for Enlightened. You're looking for Aurelia for that Enlightened Divine. You're basically playing strongest board until level 8. And at level 8, you want to try to get Lee Sin in and Yone in. And then your comp is pretty much done. Um, you know, you can get Shen in for, for, for three, three Adepts. And then Trinomir... Stuff like that. You're just playing strongest board. Items for Yasuo. Any sword item is pretty good. You know, IE obviously is very good. Deathblade is good as well. Giant Slayer is good as well. You know, if you have IE, Last Whisper is good. Hodge is usually a, a generally an early game item you're probably going to slam. If you have two offensive items already, you can you can put a third uh, defensive item. You know, QSS is good. GA is good. And then, you know, maybe even Bramble is decent. You know, D-Claw. Um, I'm going to explain really quickly how um, to more of the beginner viewers that are viewing my videos how to play reroll comps. So basically, you're not going to put any gold into levels. You're going to be staying level 4, all of stage 2. And then at stage 3, 1, after the first creep round, you're going to be level 4. That's going to be the last stage you're going to be at level 4. And level, at level 4, you have the best chances to get um, one cost uh, units. So that's when you want to roll to try to get to try to three star your uh, reroll unit. So there's two ways to play this. You can either hyper roll or you can slow roll. What hyper roll means means that at three one, the last stage you're gonna be at level four. You're gonna be rolling down um, all the way until like 30, 20, 10 gold to try to three star your reroll unit, whether it be Nasus, Wukong, Nidalee, Diana, or Yasuo Chosen. You're also gonna be picking up um, other units in the comp. So like if you're playing Nasus, you want you're gonna be picking up like Wukongs and Jaxes and, and Duelists and stuff like that. If you're playing if you're playing Wukong, you're gonna be picking up like you know any Divine or Vanguard units. If you're picking if you're playing Nidalee reroll, you're gonna be picking up Warlord, Sharpshooters, Diana is Spirit Assassins, Yasuo is uh, Duelists and Divine and Enlightened. Uh, but basically hyper roll is when you're rolling down um, in one turn at level four, stage three one. A uh, slow roll means that you're taking a little bit slower. And you're rolling excess 50 gold. So whatever gold you have over 50, you will roll down up until you're at 50 gold. And you do that every every stage until you hit until you three star your chosen, and then you and then you can move on. So basically, it's like at stage three one you'll be at 50 gold. You don't roll. At stage three two you'll you'll be at 60 gold. You roll down you roll down to 50 gold, and then at stage three three you roll down you have 60 gold again. You roll down to 50 gold again, and so on and so on until you hit the Nasus Wukong Nidalee Diana Yasuo three. And then you can start pushing levels regularly to like you know level seven, level eight, level. Um, general like what when when do you, when, when do you hyper roll? When do you slow roll? So um, when I have five or more of the units at stage three one, I will hyper roll. So basically, if I have five Nasuses or five Wukongs or five Nidalees or five Dianas or five Yasuos at stage three one, level four, 
I will try to roll down and try to three star it. Um, other if I have like four or less, otherwise I'll, I'll probably just slow roll. Even if you hyper roll down, you're not gonna hit three star. After stage two, if you only have three copies of the unit, which means like you only have the chosen unit and no other copies you can think about not playing reroll and just pushing levels playing a traditional comp like kale or slayers because i think three you're gonna be way too far behind if you have four or more i would still play reroll because it's so strong and so consistent if i don't end up getting any of these chosens i will try to go i will try to play kale and but i will only try to play kale if i have a very very strong early game or if i high roll early game what i mean by that is if i hit a lot of two stars um for my board and my synergies are very very good i will try to play kale you know an, an example of that is probably you know like an example of like a strong early game board that you can try to play kale with it's probably like if you have like nidalee 2 and you have really good items on her like sh like uh gwinsu's or something you have teemo 2 as well and you you ha have to get a kindred as well and your front line is insane you have garen plus braum and you have jarvin for warlord something like this you know, you, have, you get like a Janna, Chosen, and then, you know, and then you just, it's like a very strong board. You can save a lot of HP. You're very, very rich. You're able to go fast eight or go level eights with a lot of gold to play Kale. This is an example of like maybe the, of, of when I'll probably just play a, a fast eight comp like Kale and Slayers. Most of the time I'm not playing this comp because I will be hitting one of these Chosen's early game. And I can just commit to one of these uh, very, very easy to play and very, very reliable and consistent comps. So the last thing I want to talk about is that what if you get a Laurel opener and you don't get any of the above chosens? What do you? What do I usually do? So what I usually do is if I have a Laurel opener, which means I might I don't hit any pairs and I have no slammable items and I have no chosens that I got above that gives me direction, I will open Fort Stage Two and then I will roll down at three two level six for for direction. Uh, for those of you that don't know, open Fort basically means you are losing on purpose at stage two to maximize your econ and get carousel priority. What we need to do is you need to scout and see who's who's weak, and you need to be weaker than them. Basically, your 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 strategy is to lose all five rounds in stage two, so you can successfully five loss streak into PVE, so you can have the most econ as possible, and then at stage three two you level to level six and then you roll you'll probably have like 40 or 50 gold to roll if you did this successfully and you will roll down to as much as you need when to get direction usually when you are doing this strategy right here you are not going to be playing kale you're going to be too broke to play kale usually you're not going to be playing reroll because you're already pushing levels so if i'm ever going to open four and roll down at three two i will either play shiv elder with aso or katarina carry depending on what chosen i get so let's say I get a Warlord Chosen, I'll play Katarina. If I get an Elder Chosen, I'll play Elder with Aesol. If I get a Brawler Chosen, I'll play Shivana Carry. And there it is. This this is my strategy to playing TFT patch 11.3. Um, I know there's going to be uh, heavy, heavy Chosen changes coming up. So all of this, all of these comps or this strategy might be unviable. But for these next two weeks before the new patch hits, um, you guys can try the strategy out and I'm, I guarantee you, you will climb uh, a ton.